Hi everybody, I had a really interesting question the other day underneath one of my videos about how do you actually upload custom files to GitHub. Um, let's say you, you're working on Daisy Editor or you're doing, doing them manually and you want to share your files with the community and GitHub is one of the ways that you can do that. And so in this video I'm going to show you how to do it, well how I do it anyway. Um, there is a caveat right away though and that is I'm not sure how searchable github is for when it comes to people finding stuff what i mean by that is i don't know how well the google search engine and um, bing the microsoft search engine i don't know sure how well they pass github repositories um, so that if someone was to search for example daisy churner's drink cans whether they get many results so i think it's very important as well is if you can you should have a github repository but you should also make videos about them on YouTube, even if you're not putting any voiceover, you know, just some screen captures, you know, a screen capture video of what perhaps what the mod is or what it does. You could even put no commentary and then below that have a nice title that explains what the mod does. And in the description, basically repeat yourself, but with a little bit more detail about what the mod does. And right at the top of the description, put a link to that GitHub, because I think Google and YouTube find this uh, a lot easier than they find GitHub repositories. Anyway, so what you got to do? Well, the first thing is to head over to GitHub. I'll put a link in the description below. And then you want to create an account. Um, and then the other important thing, I think, is to, if I go to the uh, right place, if we <laughs> have, have all your files that you want to upload, kind of put them in the, the, the right place. But you also really, really want to have a readme file so these are the instructions on how to install these files and you want to save that with all those other files uh, where are we daisy modding with these save them as the readme because generally the kind of one of the accept, accepted formats for when you have a group of files together that you're putting out there for other people to use is to have a readme at some point and that will have the instructions so get them all together in in a folder on your local pc so they're ready to go um pictures are always great screen grabs you know say you're doing a daisy uh, mod about uh, changing locations of things or adding things in maybe do some work with i survive so into some close-ups so people know where they are and once you've got them all into the right place it's really easy just on your github repository um you github you just just click on new then you, cr you create a name now this <laughs> naming and the descriptions are often the hardest part so again just just be descriptive so if google or youtube or mainly google are passing the uh the github so searching through it you know indexing it this will help so say my one so the files are this is a, a so i'm going to put test repository not a depository <laughs> uh repository um my modded xml files for the mask day Z P C server one one eight, and then in the description I could put this is a test repository for a video I'm making on how to use GitHub, uh, and these are the modded day Z. XML and JSON files that I use to mod my current Damalsk server. Please ignore. Okay, so it's going to be public so everybody else can access it. Well, we don't need to add a readme read because we're going to upload one. And then you just create the repository. It'll give you error messages if you, you know, you've know you already used that name or there's another repository with that name. And this is a bit where sometimes people get a little bit stuck. So it's saying it's set it up. And what we want to click on is we want to click on upload an existing file. 
Okay, and they're saying, look, recommend you include a README license and a Git ignore. So upload existing file. And then this is where you just have one of those windows, which is really simple. So now you can just go to your files, just select all the ones you want. Maybe there's one you don't want. Oop. Say we didn't want that one. And then we just drag them. Now that, that is now uploading all of those files. And then what you need to do is you always have to click commit changes. So click commit changes, processing your files. And they're all there. So they're all ready to, to share with people. So you've got this up here. That's the um, address for the new GitHub repository. And to download those files, you know, all uh, zipped up together, just tell your people to click on the code button, click on download zip. Um, if you want to add more files, um, you just click on add file via upload, and then that takes you back here. Um, let's cancel that. Um, and if, say, you want to update these files, if you just upload a file with exactly the same name, that will just put that on over the top. You can, however, go in and if you click on the edit button on the right, that little pen, you can edit the files online if you want. And then again, you would hit commit changes. So if we do more, then we would hit commit changes. And that has now updated that. And then we can go back to the root, and they're all there. So I, th I mean, why do I use GitHub? I, I get I use it because other people do. Um, I never used to know about it, and I needed somewhere to store files so that I could share them. And I used to do it on my Google Drive, but that wasn't very good because people would come in and they would try to change things. And I thought it's probably not best to use Google Drive in that sort of commercial application where there may well be thousands of downloads. Um, I think really GitHub, its speciality is where you have lots of people working on a project and you can have forks of a project. So you have different versions and there's versioning. Um, I don't do any of that. And there is a, people can give you feedback as well. I do get messages every now and again from GitHub saying someone said something. Um, normally, these files don't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but there we go I think it's quite powerful because again it's easy for people to you give them the link they can download the the zip of the thing they can unzip them on their local or unpack them on their local drive and then then use them um, one last thing actually is in the about you can actually add if you go into things a website as well and I guess topics that's a bit like um, keywords isn't it to do so there we go, my friends. That is how you use GitHub to upload your custom Daisy or any other sort of files that you want to share, um, and so that you can uh, share them with the with the internet. Okay, but again, do make sure, especially with Daisy stuff, try and make a YouTube video as well that's well has a good title and a good description because I don't I'm not sure how well GitHub is indexed by YouTube. Okay, that's enough from me. If you found that video useful click on the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.